Very weird intro to the video. As I was heading towards the park to meet up with Dan, there was a yellow rental truck and he was trying to back in to a driveway. As he was backing up, he hit my rear quarter panel. There's a knock in my rear quarter panel. It can probably be pulled out and it's scratched. I just approached him and I said, hey man, like you hit my car. Like I'm not bummed about it because I this is a three grand car. I bought this car for three grand and I've had way nicer cars in the past and I knew this car would be disposable. So I would drive it for two, three years and then get another disposable car, maybe a nicer car, I don't know. He came over, had a look at the damage, rang his boss and he's like, can we come to any type of cash agreement? How much do you want? I said a hundred bucks. So he just, he just legit pulled out a hundred dollars out of his pocket from a wad and broke me off a hundred bucks. I feel like I should have asked for more, but I don't really care about this car. I mean, I do, it makes my car look ugly and it makes me look like an irresponsible person. And it makes me look chat that I have damage to my car. But I understand why people's cars are so jacked in LA. It's because people drive crazy here. You know what the most ironic thing is about this little car scratch dent incident? I sat my DMV behind the wheel test yesterday and I passed with flying colors. Like the instructor and the one behind the counter was like, wow, you did extremely well, sir. It's like, thank you. So yeah. <laughs> Goes to show, it doesn't matter how careful of a driver you are, people will still ruin your shit in LA. I don't believe I've been to this park before. We're somewhere in, is this Santa Monica? What? Is it Santa Monica? Arjun is here, all the way from the East Coast. Long time no see. It has been a while. How are you, sir? Long time. Good to see you, my favorite place. <laughs> Good to see you. <laughs> the man from down under the equator. Yeah. It's more than a country, it's also a continent, it's also clearly an island. It was a prison at one point too. And it's almost 95% desert. Yeah. <laughs> As you guys can see, this is a uh, completely prefab park on this bit of concrete right here. Pretty fun, but some of the uh, distances between the ground and the ramps are really sketchy like look at that that's at least like two or three millimeters you know enough to if your weight isn't right you'd hit that and you'd die but really cool flat bar here really long really low there's a really fun steel mini ramp here um pyramid some ledges and there's actually a circle mani pad down there just like at Carnes Hill back in Sydney and yeah there's a spine here too The, no I the noises do... are very satisfying. I tried to do the four worst tricks I could think of. <laughs> <On a minute. laughs> and now I'm out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good warm up. So we've been doing a little bit of skating uh, for Dan's channel. Did some stuff. I just, grew, I just drew my grip tape a little bit. I had this Sharpie I bought. I've been wanting to draw this in my grip tape for ages now, but check it out. So if you're from Sydney, you'll know what this is. This is the Sydney City logo. It's an anchor. And I feel like that's a center point tower. This bit right here is like the center point tower, or I think it's like the bird's nest on a ship at the top of the thing at the top. So yeah, Sydney City. Hello everybody. Uh, here we are, at, we're in Florence, I think. Florence, California, it's a prefab park. Just gonna zip around, do some stuff, and then we're gonna talk about some stuff.
Oh, first tee. First try, man with the plan. If that was the worst blunt, dude, I think you missed the five I did before. <laughs> yeah. Gonna, did you see my blunts before? <laughs> I'm gonna try feeble it. I'll try at least feeble halfway. So I'll come this way. All right. Dude, did you mean to do that? that happens to the like answer is yes! You meant to, to do that. Time. That was sick. Fe dude, yeah, that I'm was sick. Yeah. Feeble, no comply, feeble, that was better than the real one. Yeah. Whoa! Whoa! That was a crook. I was kind of far away. <laughs> ah. Smooth. Is it correct when I get in? I don't think it is because you're grinding it. Like if your weight was incorrect, you wouldn't grind it. But it's like it goes forward. Your body goes forward? Yeah. Okay, so try this instead. Like when you're on the rail, just put your weight, all your weight's there. All you're doing with your front foot is pointing like like this on flat ground. Ah, okay. Like you see how like my foot's yeah. not touching the ground? Yeah. Just do that. Just right. point. Don't put any weight on your front foot. And like when you come out, all you're doing is lifting up into 5-0. Yeah, I want to lock it nice like that, you know? They look those, good. Those are like crazy like this. They look good. Just remember to be on the back foot and just point with the front so right. that you can lift up. I'm learning how to hold a skateboard. What was that? <laughs> Sorry, hold it. Me too. <laughs> that was it. Good. Keep going. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. Keep going. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, yeah. Keep going. I had no idea you could do that. Holy shit. Whoa. That was sick. Dude, Dan can't do that. I'm hungry too. Let's can we get raisin canes? This guy, he's got reloads ready to go. Once one gets done, chucks another one on. That's right. I bought them out of stock. Walmart. Ed Gain. $9. Ed Gain special. Ed Gain special. <laughs> All right, so as you guys know, uh, I'm not sponsored. Dan is sponsored. Arjun is sponsored. What, um, who was your first sponsor? My first sponsor? Your very first sponsor. Uh, my friend's clothing company called Merge Co., which never made any clothing, but we rode for it. What? <laughs> <laughs> we were like, oh, we were like, it was like, you want to ride for my clothing company? We were like, yeah. And he like ordered online like a shirt that just had like Merge Co. And I think he had the only one that was ever made. Yeah. Oh, he had yeah. like a team. It was sick. Yeah, I was sponsored. But my first real sponsor, I guess, was a skate shop called Charm City. Charm City. Oh, yeah. That was your first one? Yeah. He sells my board. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what? Well, who was your first sponsor? Uh, first ever was Natural Skate Shop in East Brunswick. They, I got on and then they closed after a year. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying not to laugh. He farted twice, three times now. He farted? Oh, oh, oh that was a close one. <laughs> we're gonna get kicked out, dude. Yeah. Fucking yeah, farting. Yeah, no, but uh, yeah, no, they they were open for a year and then they they went out of business pretty pretty hard. And then I okay. they put Arjun on. No, I think it was because uh, NJ Skate Shop opened actually. Yeah, never heard um, of yeah, I mean, once they opened, they like really took over. A lot of shops in that area went out of business. So then I went and rode for uh, Pro Skateboard Shop. Definitely. Okay, wow. Well. So, it's like, I don't know, when I was a kid, when I was a teenager, it was like, it was like the coolest thing ever if you were sponsored. Like, there was a guy, this is when I was like 13, there was a guy that skated my local park, Robert Kenworthy, and he was sponsored by Element. Yeah, you got food in my head? Yeah, you did, I got it. <laughs> he, sponsored, he was sponsored by Element, like, I remember him coming to the park, 
with a box and him opening the box and like all the product coming out. What a kook! And I was like 13. I was like 13. What I was a like, kook. he did it like a. a can you a, imagine? A live on can you imagine getting a box? Like, okay, you're a sponsor. You're good at getting. You get a box. It gets mailed to your fucking house. He got and it in the like, shop. Like they sent it to the, our local skate shop back then. And then he brought it, it from the shop to the skate park to open in front of in front everyone. Of everybody. Like people yeah. think unboxing videos yeah, are I cringy. See, hey guys, Doing it yeah. publicly is cringy. Like, <laughs> check out what? It could be your next visit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's kind of gross. <laughs> it's obviously different this day and age because we have social media for like skateboarding. But like, how does one get sponsored these days? It's I don't like know. I don't even know. Actually, I think it's the same as it's always been. Kind of. I, I don't think it's changed. So here's the deal. The idea of someone getting sponsored back in the day was like, you made a sponsor me tape, you sent it in, yeah. they saw the video, and they'd hook you up. That never happened. Like, really? your sponsor me tape had to be so fucked up yeah, to get hooked even, up. Yeah, even watch it. Yeah, 90% they, they, of the time, they don't even watch it. And now, it's like, same thing with Instagram. Everyone's just posting yeah. all their fucking yeah, shit on like, Instagram. Yeah, the thing about this, like, team managers and stuff, like, they fuck, go on Instagram for an hour. You know what I mean? <laughs> Imagine how many tapes and, uh, and videos clips they must and stuff. get you know dm'd a day like there's yeah. no way they're watching even a quarter of those no like like i don't know back in the day for me though it was a little different i felt like the only way like of getting sponsored back then like we didn't have social media yeah right like social media was not a thing like myspace had barely even come out and uh i think that it was more like show face okay. like you would have to like go to the contest like go to oh, the demos. wow go to the events like even like i remember like fibro would do demos like all the time yeah and i would like go to the fibro demos and i would just like what, what? <laughs> I, I, would, I would like go to the fibro demos and i would just like start skating like with them okay to the point where like when they started their demo they wouldn't be like oh hey dude stop skating they would just kind of like let me skate in the demo that's, with them that's I don't, kind of ballsy huh it's like it, yeah it is ballsy but like back then that's how it was especially yeah. in jersey oh, like i, I yeah. feel like that was like nobody watched sponsor me tapes it was all about like no. did they did they know who you are because you keep going to the events or not okay and that's another version of what i was going to say the only way to get sponsored now is the same way you got sponsored then they if you're good enough at skating they will find out who you that, are yeah i was just that's, gonna say that like that, don't that, don't worry about sponsors if yeah. you're good enough they will find you yeah a hundred percent if you keep me. bugging them with your tape oh, you're gonna get like a sticker pot pack and you're gonna annoy them <laughs> No, if yeah. you're going to get hooked up, it's because you're good at skating and they know who you are. A lot of okay. times, uh, some of the dudes, because here's, here's what the biggest mistake that I see people make. They look at, they watch a video part and they think, I can do some of the tricks in this video part. Yeah. Therefore, I should be sponsored. When in actuality, if you can do some tricks in the video part and you're not sponsored, one of two things. What? You're a kook okay. and they don't want to sponsor you. Yeah. Or the person who's in the video is the homie and he's going to get hooked up because he's either like, got really good style or everyone yeah. loves him or yeah. he just been, yeah. maybe he's been on the team forever and he's on his way I mean, out that's the only reason i'm sponsored by anybody anymore i think it's just because they like, been like around. they just like what is that supposed to mean he's I've been, been around, around. Been a bit around. of a skate shop been around Slot. i don't I, I don't think i've had that i just know a lot of people i guess and that it's I, i'm trying to say i don't think it's because of my skill level <laughs> I know. That's they another. See you skate, they know. <laughs> <laughs> what does? I mean, obviously, you're sponsored. You get free like product and stuff, yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's like, but like, what is being sponsored it, actually? Yeah, it's like sorted out for you. You don't have to be jumping down crazy twelve C rails and doing all this crazy well, stuff. I'm, like, I'm a different kind. Of, yeah, I'm a different kind of sponsor. So. What people don't what people don't realize is you're not sponsored because you're good at skateboarding and you deserve free product. No one sees you doing tricks and like he's good. He shouldn't have to pay for stuff. Yeah. No, they look at you and they say, "That is a billboard. Yeah, Let me put my product." This on guy. That. That's yeah. literally what it's all about. Yeah. If I put his name on something, are people going to buy it? Yeah, that's he's what good it's at all skating. About. Like yeah. if okay, if he's riding our boards, our ki little kids gonna look up to him and be like, "Oh, he's probably good because he rides those boards." And that's yeah. like. It's an industry. Yeah, it a, is, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. People don't look at it like that. People, people don't because they think it's just skateboarding. But these brands are companies still. You yeah. know, they gotta they gotta if, make if, money. If, they to, if they're not if they're not making money, they're gonna go. They're out gonna of go bankrupt. Yeah. yeah. People think it's like this. Like these, there are these core companies that are like in it for the right. He's like, yeah. no, motherfucker. You think like you think the, boards are free? Like, yeah, what do you think they're made out of trees? <laughs> You gotta, you gotta work for it. And if you are sponsored like the old fashioned way, like I, I have a lot of friends who are sponsored by like legitimate companies, like yeah. Toy Machine and whatever, and it's like they work. 
Like, yes. they, they wake up in the morning sometimes and they know they have to skateboard. Oh. And that's a whole different feeling. That's scary I, to that, think about. I tried doing that and I was never good enough to do that. Luckily, I ended up in this weird realm of I'm marketable without being as good as skating or as ballsy as skating or as X, Y, and Z of skating as everyone else. Yeah. But people will buy my product because either they trust what I say, they think I'm funny, they think I'm entertaining, and they're like, I want to support what supports him. So yeah, they're not looking at the product and thinking, if I buy that truck, I'll be able to skate like him. <laughs> they're just going to be like, oh, so I can't ollie anymore? I can also do a slap. He's like, they're not thinking that. They're just yeah. like, oh, they support him. I want to support them. And that's a whole different new market that it's the like, skate industry is getting It's relatively to. new, huh? It's yeah. like just starting to break in, that whole market. Yeah, of it's like, been around for a while, but they haven't been letting anyone in. Like That's why like Andy Schrock has been like murdering it. And, yeah. and like, the Braille guys have been oh, killing because no, they had no competition. Yeah. They basically had a monopoly on this idea of people will buy product because they like you, not because you. you're better than everyone. Yeah. But it's true. And I'm better but than I've everyone seen. and people like you. <laughs> I, I don't know. Like, I I get flowed by Emerica. They're probably... Oh, the, that's sick, dude. Oh, thank you. They're probably really They're cool. probably the biggest brand that hooks me up. Yeah. But, like, they don't... There's, Dude, look at their team. You know, like, they don't expect anything out of me. Okay. I'm pretty sure... Yeah. I'm pretty sure I just, like, get free stuff because Don likes me. Yeah, you yeah. Know? Okay. And, um... That's it. And and I also like make shoe reviews for them for YouTube. Yeah. So I'm sure that that helps out. Yeah, a definitely. Bit. More eyes on that. You yeah. Know? But I mean, uh, like, yeah, other sponsors that I have, like One Skateboards is probably the most demanding. Yeah. To be honest. Because like, you have, don't you have your own board? For them, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's um, sick, dude. Yeah. So AJ, he, he asks a lot out of me. Like, for yeah. Sure. Yeah. He's put like deadlines on video projects for okay. me before and. Um, like contest, he's like required, like told contest. Me, like, shit. Yeah, See, I'm not a contest so skater at all. Before he put my name on a board, he made me do so many contests over the course of like four years. Wow. Yeah, it was a conversation we like we had it a long time ago, and he was like, "Okay, well, if this is a goal of yours, like this is what I expect of you." Okay, so and, it's like, like a yeah. So, but like I, in a way, like I hated it, but I didn't. Yeah. If that makes sense, like it, it was almost like. Oh no! I'm you like, definitely earned it. Let's put it that way. Thanks. Yeah, I felt like, like I, I don't know. I, I guess <laughs> it, it was it was a lot. Like the contests were really frustrating. Of course, dude. I, I couldn't. I never skated a contest, and I never will because uh, I'm just not. I'm not oh, made like that, dude. dude. One, of, one of my requests. So there was like a Philly Cup series. It's like okay. this contest. There's like four or five of them throughout the year. Yeah. And one year he told me like, you know, I I want you to win the whole thing. Woo! So. I like remember he, he literally was like if you don't win this whole thing like how do you expect me to put it oh anyway, see I, see that's another thing pressure like it was pressure but you, like in okay. the back of my head i was kind of like i kind of feel like i do have this yeah like if I, I feel like i could do it yeah of you know? course so yeah like that, it was also like a little motivation and i did end up doing it wow on like the philly cup that's I tried sick to drink a beer out of it and there were holes in the bottom of the like, <laughs> yeah that's another like for me like i'm not sponsored at all i've never been sponsored you never will be I, <laughs> i'll sponsor I've never, you no it's, i don't you like a it, sticker? It's just, <laughs> like i don't care anymore because i can like i have a job i have money to buy the shit i need to skate i can i can wear Dude, what i want to wear it's bigger than mine i see that tear drop yeah. like, like, i don't even care i don't anymore. care i really want to be sponsored super fast. but when i was a kid i was like <laughs> That was like a that was like a be all end all thing in my head was like I gotta yeah. get sponsored like when you're 15, 16 in my yeah. head I was like I gotta get sponsored and it never happened I'm like I don't really care anymore it's like I still have the same amount of fun skating. That's uh, but well, that's the yeah. most important part. It's like dude if you're not having fun skateboarding, like why would you go skateboarding? Yeah. yeah like why would like, you, why want, would to you want to? Like, yeah. You have to be in it for the right reasons to like yeah. I mean if you don't enjoy it, why fucking yeah, do well, it? I do. Yeah. I, do some, I think, do I think where like you're at is at a realization that a lot of people have where when you're younger, free stuff sounds like such a oh, miracle. Oh my god, a free board yeah. that's but you know what's 60 bucks. bucks. Than free stuff? Being able to buy your own shit. When you can, like, yeah. you're in a position where you can get whatever you want. Yeah. Oh, man, like, because if you get free stuff, you have to ride that shit. You have shit to ride all the time. No, yeah, you just have to. Yeah. What about if it's like, oh, you, you don't really dig it anymore? Yeah, what if it's the like, product sucks? What if they change the shit? Yeah, I just feel like, I don't know. And then it's like YouTube. It's like, I would rather be like getting hooked up for YouTube. Absolutely. Then, oh yeah. Because you know, then you can do whatever you want. You don't have to rely on. Oh, I got to ride this board. I got to wear these pair of shoes. I got to dress a certain way or whatever. Yeah. I feel like it's super. Your channel is super marketable. Like, Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I just. I don't know. Shit, like, 
I just thought it'd be a cool topic to talk about since both of you guys are sponsored. And it's like pretty much everyone I skate with here is sponsored. Yeah. Yeah, Why is he asking us questions about being sponsored? What are you, a cop, dude? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's because in Australia, no one gets sponsored. Like, they suck. Fuck yeah. Australia. Yeah. What are you talking about? You'll Shane, get... Shane O'Neill, you ever heard of him? Yeah, but he... No. Who's that? <laughs> like, the local kids will get put on by the local stores, and then I guess sometimes it, it levels up to, like, the distribution for like Baker down under, they'll they'll like flow some boards to these kids. Do you know you know why people like on the East Coast in Australia and other countries don't get it hooked up as fast as they move here? Why? Because they think to themselves, what can I do with this person when he's way out there? I have to fly him out here to go uh, on trips okay. with us. I, it's a business. A hundred percent. Yeah. Like, I, I can't believe people don't grasp basic business. Concepts. Maybe it's because I'm Indian. It's like in my blood. <laughs> but like. That shit like makes total no, sense. No, yeah, you have yeah. to be marketable. Like, yeah, like they, they, why would they buy you a plane ticket and fly you all the way out here if, if, if they, and then they here. don't make a dime off of you being yeah, here? It's, yeah, it's, it's, they literally yeah, someone's just threw already away here. Money. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they brought I mean, sponsor people that are right here. I'm not saying I'm not open to sponsorship or whatever, but it's not, it's not like a big thing in my mind. Yeah, it's just like, like it's whatever. Not your goal. No, it's like, like my goal is to mind. like keep doing YouTube and progress my what channel. What about coming to the East Coast, maybe for a summer? And you East Coast would be cool. Yeah, I would like to go to the East Coast. Too. That could be cool. Could be if cool. Dale goes to the East Coast, yeah. he's gonna get beat up. Why? Well, Dale's not invited, dude. Yeah, Dale's not invited. They're gatekeepers of the East Coast. Sean can come, Dan. Oh, he's here. Yeah, got, so I got two East Coast locals here. We walked over here and I seen these dudes. I seen those balloons. I was like, that'd be so fun to pop them, and they're doing it literally right now. Is cool, murdering those balloons. It's a cool job. Yeah. yeah. Pop, 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 pop. On your way back, bring me his son. On, on